Apprentice, I see you've landed on Nar Shaddaa. It is, I'm afraid, the armpit of the galaxy. Must be your kind of place, Barris. In my youth, perhaps. Nar Shaddaa is a planet of frivolity and distraction. Gambling, spice, rampant black market and gang territory disputes. But you are there to eliminate my spy, Agent Delicon. Normally it would be a trifling task, but Delicon has acquired a powerful ally. Why am I killing one of our own? Delicon was my spy on Nar Shaddaa, who fell under Republic scrutiny thanks to Noman Carr's Padawan. He's smart and figured I would kill him, so he sought asylum with a rival there, Lord Rathari. An upstart among the Sith who openly disrespects me. Rathari prefers a more blunt approach. The Dark Council has granted him dominion over Sith interests on Nar Shaddaa. What possessed the Council to do such a thing? Rathari has been effective at ingratiating himself to the Council. Agent Delicon knows much about my organization. I cannot have Rathari in possession of such a resource. Burn Rathari to the ground. Destroy everything he's working for. And kill Agent Delicon. Sounds like my kind of fun. Haladrel Setson runs my slave operation on Nar Shaddaa. She has been a valued operative for many years. She is ready to receive you and can fill you in on Rathari's movements and interests. That is all. Sweet talk me all day, darling. The exchange is moving in on this operation of yours. No amount of sugar gonna change that. Believe me, you're going to prefer the sugar to the spice. Take one step closer and there'll be two dozen Sith surrounding you. Two dozen? That's a dead giveaway, darling. You got none. One is all she's going to need. See? Not so smug now, are you, Captain? So you do got a Sith up your sleeve. Well... We've been trained to take out, Sith. Time to flex our muscles. No one has to get hurt over this. Unless you're planning on just killing yourself, I beg to differ. Kill the Sith. You have a flair for dramatic entrances. I probably could have handled that, but uh, I'm grateful for your timing. You're the apprentice Darth Barris prep for me, yes? What exactly did he tell you about me? He briefed me on your mission here, and my part in it. Halidrell sets in. So you're here to take out Lord Rathari. Won't be easy. He usually just appears, devastates, then disappears. You'll have to draw him out. He's been making some major power plays, and disrupting them will get his attention. Sounds like a plan. Barris trusts me for a reason. First, Rathari's been strong-arming the Hutt cartel. From what I hear, they're close to signing over some important territories to him. He and his apprentice Girik are in conference with the Hutts at cartel headquarters. If you burst in... Mathari doesn't sound like the type to negotiate. You're right. He doesn't like talk, but he knows how to apply political pressure. The cartel is an imperial ally. Mathari can't just beat on them. He has to play diplomat. Unfortunately, the same applies for you. If things turn violent between you and the huts, better if there's no one left to identify you. I'll do my best to keep the peace with our allies. The other possibility won't carry as many restraints. I've got a shipment of slaves to send out, but I'll be here if you need me. Good luck, my lord. You would be wise to bend to the great Lord Rathari's will. Sign over the specified territories before he loses his patience. <laughs> I am your other choice. I'll tell you who this is. This is the apprentice of an over-the-hill Sith named Darth Barras. Yes, that's right. My master and I anticipated your arrival. Where is your master, Worm? I am Lord Rathari's proxy in dealing with the cartel, and I will be his sword arm dealing with you. I'm here to make sure the cartel doesn't become Rathari's pawn. Not 
I seek to relieve the cartel of the burden of Lothari's intrusions. Maguta Porco Chopping Wampa La Hagua Kila Jikoska. Cha Porco Udmangisa Mitisa Roda Gopara. Tartanin Chista Luca Ubaziki Tanti Ruha. Porwe ni Naka Kisore Fe Opa Uta Guta. You act as if you don't know how easily I could kill you. Mana mana, you eda iki, tukuluko charatrodo. Uda guda dan gue guda, pan bama. You talk big for someone so obviously small. Buna naitachu, ne tuto boga. Then ruling jihola guta slemo. Fine, I'll unburden us of this intruder, but then you'd better sign on the dotted line. <sighs> Impossible. Lord Rathari will still be you and your master's downfall. Find some self-respect, worm. Yes, that is exactly what I intend to do. I die by my own hand, not yours. Yinga yinga kichita, ni ni tanu alayu kewe kuta. Oh, wala manga, tus ne yu wala ma, ta blota wijawa. The animal is about to be put down. Do pata di mawata tusuya, mi kudiono postan morroya. Yinga yinga kichita, ni ni tanu alayu kewe kuta. Word spread through the streets that Rathari's conference with the Huts was invaded and his apprentice killed. Seems like you missed your calling as a diplomat. The Huts are in a holding pattern to see what comes of your challenge. It's too bad Rathari wasn't in attendance. But man, I bet he's fuming. I'm sure our message was heard loud and clear. Rathari is also on the verge of taking over the Republic's base of operations in the upper industrial sites. With his work with the cartel dashed, he's sure to pour himself into squashing the Republic garrison. I'll keep banging down doors until I find him. Tenacity is a prerequisite for Sith, I think. Even if Rathari isn't there, when his operations are all thwarted, I know he'll come to you. A confrontation will be inevitable. Men, fall back! Rally here! My lord, what is the meaning of this? We are on the verge of striking a major blow to the Republic. I am General Clickton, commanding on the authority of Sith Lord Rathari, appointed to Narshadar by the Dark Council. Why do you attack the Empire's men? If Rathari shows himself, no one else will suffer. He is attending to other matters. You belong to Darth Barras. I was given instructions to destroy you if you were foolish enough to show your face here. I'm right here. Do what you must. My men are the best trained in the galaxy. You will be a minor interruption, and then I will finish obliterating the Republic garrison. Full Sir, attack! the Sith strength has been spent obliterating our enemy. We should strike while there's a chance. After that display, Weglin, I believe fighting should be our last resort. Stay back and cover me. Sith, I am Commander Nolan. I'm in charge of this defensive. I'm unarmed. Have your men follow suit. Now. All weapons down. You heard the commander. Power down your weapons. We do not wish a fight, but we also cannot relinquish this area. What are your terms? You live only by my good grace. I may have need of you someday, and you will repay my mercy. Very well. If your mission does not conflict with Republic interests, I pledge to help you. Here is my hollow frequency. I will answer your call. You have my word. Until we meet again, Sith. Men, the battle is ended. Attend to the wounded. Base. My base is under attack. The last of my men and I are holed up in the command center. But the doors are about to give. Who's responsible for the attack? I don't know. We had no warning! Ah! The command 
Samson has been breached. I've never seen such power. Oh no. It's clear Darth Barris failed to inform you exactly who you'd be crossing. This demonstration should make up for that deficiency. You want Agent Delicon. You want me. I won't be hard to find anymore. I'm on the roof of the satellite platform in network access. If you dare show, I will grant you a duel to the death. Be honored. My lord, if I may, I smell an ambush. Commander Narlan and his men owe me their lives. I mean to collect. Hail him, now. Yes, my lord. Patching him through now. I had a feeling you'd call, Sith. Can't say I'm looking forward to this. I'm about to give you the opportunity for glory few have seen. The destruction of a Sith Lord. That's unexpected. You've definitely piqued my interest. The soldier pays his debts. Tell me what must be done. Lord Rathari, I presume. Finally, we come face to face. Ah, you showed. You lack your master's caution. I applaud that. Delicon. Barris's lackey is here. So, say your piece, and do it before I kill this would-be assassin. Barris is insane and paranoid. I was a faithful servant, and my cover was intact. Did he expect me to accept being murdered for reassurance? Just wait for death? Come, speak with Barris. Perhaps he'll listen to reason. Do you think I'm stupid? Not a chance. Delicon and everything he knows of your master's operations are mine now. In a hundred years, when I am legendary within the Sith, your and Barriss's deaths at my hands will not even be a footnote. However, I would never lower myself to duel a mere apprentice such as you. You haven't earned the honor. I marked you as a coward the moment I saw you. Ha! You cannot goad me into it, worm. These men are my elite guard, trained to take on Sith. Half of them could kill you, but I don't like to play favorites. I'm warning you, Rathari. Stand down, now. That's the signal, men! Let's go! I see now. I've underestimated your resourcefulness. Men, make quick work of these Republic fools. Attack! I yield. Never have I witnessed such raw power. The day and the planet are yours. I freely pass the scepter. The threat Delicon posed to you and your master has died with him. I hope it ingratiates me in some way. Thank you for ending that miserable wretch for me. It's my fault he lived as long as he did. It's clear to me now. Someday you will rise above your master. It is you, not I, who will be Darth Barriss's end. Grant me mercy, so I may live to see it. Honor me with some small hand in it. I make you my minion to be called into service when I see fit. Yes. I shall wait with patience for your summons. I leave you to your business, my lord. Remember, I am at your disposal, whenever you may seek to topple Barras. From here on, that is your only interest in the galaxy. You have siphoned all other ambition from me. All right, Sith. Now no one's left but you and me and my men. Your objective has been met. May we go. You have served me well, Commander. Leave in peace. All right, men. 
You heard the Sith. Let's get back to our neck of the woods. It will be good to get back to the ship and leave this planet. Not fond of Nar Shaddaa, Quinn. It's not often I agree so vehemently with Darth Barriss. But this place is indeed the armpit of the galaxy. Maybe you'd like it back on Balmora. Point taken, my lord. I stand corrected. Whenever you're ready to return to the ship, I'll prepare it for flight. You wish to speak? Yes, my lord. I wanted to update you on the condition of your ship. It has responded extremely well to my optimizations. I'm pleased to report that we are operating at peak efficiency. I will accept no less, Captain. Of course, my lord. There will be no slippage. Your demeanor makes me tense, Captain. Work on loosening up. I see. Actually, my lord, I don't see. Is that an order, or are you testing my professionalism? I'm going to get a kick out of you. I hope to be of greater service than that, my lord. Permission to speak freely, my lord. You may always speak freely, Quinn. I'll keep that in mind. There's a reason I was languishing on Balmora before you arrived. A decade ago, I served under Moff Broisk at the Battle of Druckenwell. Moff Broisk made a critical oversight that brought the fleet to the brink of complete defeat. I ignored his order and turned the tide to victory. I take it the Moff took exception to that. Your intuition is flawless, my lord. Broisk took credit for the reversal, which is fine. But then he court-martialed me. Darth Barris assigned me to Balmora or my career would have been over. Moff Broisk has blocked every transfer and promotion I've been up for since. It must have served Barris to keep you on Balmora. Clearly he was capable of advancing you. Well, I... I suppose you're right. But I was grateful to be wearing the uniform and helping an important Sith. I serve you now, I have no regrets. I'll return to my duties. You have done well, my apprentice. Delicon eliminated, and Lord Rathori dispelled. This will be a day long remembered. The loss of Haladrel Sitson is unfortunate, but the ends far justify the means. She served you honorably, Master. I had a soft spot for her as well. You have successfully eliminated both of my compromised agents. The time has come to set our sights on Noman Carr and his gifted Padawan. It seems our adversary is of like mind. Your efforts have not gone unnoticed. Noman Carr has been busy. Enlighten me, Master. It appears your ship is being tracked. A very sophisticated sensor is reporting your every movement. I've traced the signal to a spaceport in a sector not far from you. I'm sure Noman Carr is involved. It seems likely. I've sent the coordinates to your mainframe. Head there immediately, dock with the station, and make a lasting impression. What seems to be the trouble, Hirosho? Tell me why you're so concerned. Master Carr, you promised we would be undetected, but the ship we've been tracking for you is here. Calm your fear, Hirosho. It will not serve you. I will speak with your visitor when the time comes. The time is upon you. I'm here. Say your piece. Ah, uh, okay. You never told me we'd be tracking a Sith. You were provided the details necessary to perform your duties. Now please, remain quiet. Sith, I presume you are Darth Barriss' new apprentice. I am Jedi Master Norman Carr. Do you know me? You're my master's sworn enemy. Barris and I like to keep tabs on each other, so when I heard of a new apprentice, I investigated. These men were merely monitoring the equipment, following orders. There's no need for bloodshed here. My quarrel is with you, Jedi. These men need not suffer. Your temperance is remarkable. Hirosho, please leave with your men immediately. Thank you. Thank you, Master Carr. And you as well. Sith? Don't mention it. Now that they're safe, I'll speak plainly. 
I know Barris has spies, and I know you were sent to extract two of them before they could be exposed. But I'll soon have the proof I need. Barris' spies can't hide for long. Your people's powers are a sham. She's leading you on a witch hunt. Ah, you know more than I thought. Barris, no doubt, is after my Padawan. How unfortunate. I've kept her identity and location a secret. So you and your master are just feeling your way in the dark. But my Padawan is of supreme importance to me in the Jedi Order. I will not let harm come to her. I would expect nothing less. In that case, I shall exceed your expectations, my friend. Forgive the earlier deception, Sith. But now that Hirosho and his men have escaped harm, I must neutralize you immediately. These troopers are among the Republic's finest. Surrender, and the Jedi Council will be lenient. I find that preposterous. Then you leave me no choice. Men, take the Sith in, by any means necessary. It seems Darth Barris has found himself a singularly vicious weapon in you. This experience has given me valuable insight. I'll be prepared for you next time, Sith. No one else has to die. We can discuss this peacefully, Master Carr. If only that were true. My place is by my Padawan's side, teaching her the ways of the Force and honing her talents. I will do everything in my power to keep her hidden from you. You have chosen this path, Carr, and placed us at odds. Your embrace of the dark side and service to Darth Barris determined our relationship long before this moment. Until we meet again. Apprentice, now that Noman Carr realizes that we seek his Padawan, there's no time to waste. He claimed the girl on her home planet of Alderaan, and she trained on Tatooine. I have agents on both planets, digging up leads. Find the people who know this girl. Someone means enough to her to make her come out of hiding. I will obliterate everything she knows. I am confident this is how we will prevail. The Padawan's training is incomplete. She is susceptible. The anguish you cause will flush her out, and you will kill her and her master. At last, a challenge worthy of me. I only hope you are up to that challenge. You have yet to face a Jedi Master. Their righteousness and passionless demeanor is nauseating. And Noman Carr is no ordinary master. Confronting him, you will find profound fortitude and hate. Or you will falter. It will be an interesting experience. Be sure your results are of interest to me. Be off, then. Tatooine and Alderaan await. Discover this Padawan's identity and destroy her. My lord, I have been working on something in my spare time. You may be interested. Go ahead. Regale me. Years ago, I was zeroing in on a notorious SIS agent called Volorin when Moff Broisk recalled me to the Battle of Druckenwell. I had the spy cornered. I briefed Broisk so that he could send someone else to take Voloran out. He ignored the opportunity. This sounds like a personal vendetta. I'll admit, knowing how close I was to ending his career made languishing on Balmora all the more frustrating. But I take this on only for the good of the Empire. This spy has caused immeasurable losses. I know Volorin's signature. And by tracking his accomplishments, I've picked up his scent. It is imperative that you track him down. Very good, my lord. I'll keep you abreast of my progress.